In a prosperous family of textile merchants, the Guan family was renowned for their exceptional business acumen and abundant resources. The elderly couple, now in their sixties, led a comfortable life with a son and a daughter. The daughter, Guan Yunxia, was nearing thirty and unmarried, the son, Guan Zicheng, was twenty-six and married, with his wife, Shen Yufei, eight months pregnant at the time. However, fate took an unexpected turn. One day, Guan Zicheng was tragically murdered on his way home, leaving the family in deep sorrow and shock. The sudden tragedy left the elderly couple not only heartbroken but also deeply anxious, especially given their strong belief in the traditional concept of male heirs continuing the family lineage. They were concerned that if Shen Yufei gave birth to a girl, the family's inheritance and business empire might face a crisis. In this context, the daughter, Guan Yunxia, proposed preparing a male infant for the delivery in case Shen Yufei gave birth to a girl, so they could substitute the male infant. Although risky, this proposal seemed reasonable in an era where male preference was prevalent. Finally, on the day of delivery, fate smiled upon them as Shen Yufei gave birth to a healthy baby boy. To solidify their plan, they announced to the public that the couple had fraternal twins, Jeff and Ray. This decision brought a sliver of comfort amidst their grief, and the family rejoiced in the arrival of new life. The arrival of the twin boys brought new hope to the Guan family and sowed the seeds for countless stories to unfold. As the domestic situation became increasingly unstable, the shadow of war loomed over this wealthy family. The Guan family decided to leave their homeland and seek a new life in the United States. This migration journey was full of challenges and unknowns, but they believed that the new land would offer them a safer and more stable future. However, the family also began to fracture internally during this time. Daughter-in-law Shen Yufei, unable to tolerate the harsh treatment from her sister-in-law Guan Yunxia, decided to leave the family. She remarried, leaving behind the young twins. This departure made Guan Yunxia feel a deep sense of responsibility, and she decided to take on the task of raising Jeff and Ray. Guan Yunxia put aside her own marriage plans and devoted herself entirely to helping her father manage the family's textile business and taking care of the twins, becoming a pillar of strength for the family. This migration and family upheaval not only changed the environment in which the twins grew up but also profoundly affected their future lives. They grew up learning and gradually integrating into American society while carrying the expectations and responsibilities of their family. Growing up in the United States, Jeff and Ray faced the dual challenges of culture and language. They were raised with traditional Chinese values and a sense of family honor while being exposed to American freedom and diverse values. In such an environment, the brothers developed unique personalities and interests. Jeff was outgoing and sociable, with a strong interest in business. He often followed his aunt to family business discussions, demonstrating excellent leadership skills. Ray, on the other hand, was more introverted, calm, and cautious, with a great passion for technology and innovation. He enjoyed exploring new technologies in the lab and had won numerous awards in school science projects. Aunt Guan Yunxia took a strict yet caring approach to educating the twins. She emphasized cultural education and encouraged them to develop their own interests and strengths. Despite the heavy history of the family's past, Yunxia did not want these shadows to affect their future. She taught them to stay true to their roots and remember their family's honor, regardless of where they were. As time went on and their grandparents passed away, Jeff and Ray gradually entered adulthood, and their paths began to diverge. Jeff chose to attend a prestigious business school, majoring in business management. His goal was to take over and expand the family's textile business in the future. He excelled academically and participated in various student organizations, showcasing his leadership talents. Ray, meanwhile, chose a top-tier technical school, specializing in textile technology and engineering. He had a deep interest in technical details and aimed to introduce innovative technologies to the family business to improve production efficiency and product quality. 
He won numerous awards for his research projects and established close collaborations with several professors. Despite their different fields, the brothers remained closely connected. Jeff's business acumen complemented Ray's technical expertise, and they often discussed future business plans and development directions together. They realized that although they had different interests and specialties, the family business required their joint efforts and contributions. During this time, they increasingly understood that the family's rise and fall were closely linked to the efforts of each member. They felt the expectations from their aunt and recognized the responsibilities on their shoulders. They were determined not to disappoint their family's expectations and to work hard for the future of the family business. As the twins grew older, an internal family conflict quietly unfolded. Shen Yufei, who had left the family years earlier, suddenly returned, claiming her right to participate in managing the family business. She brought along lawyers and evidence, attempting to prove her and her child's legitimate stake in the family inheritance. Guan Yunxia was furious at this, believing that Shen Yufei's departure had severed her ties with the family, and her years of care for the twins and contributions to the family business could not be ignored. The struggle involved legal and moral issues within the family, with both sides engaging in intense confrontations in court and the media. Shen Yufei even threatened to reveal Ray's true parentage. In the end, Guan Yunxia, with solid legal foundations and the support of family members, successfully defended the control of the family business in court. Shen Yufei's lawsuit failed, and her claims were dismissed by the court. To protect her biological son Jeff's feelings, she decided to keep Ray's parentage a secret for now. The resolution of this struggle not only brought relief to Guan Yunxia and the twins but also made them more aware of the value and importance of the family business. The conflict revealed to the twins the complexity of internal family dynamics and the darker sides of human nature. They realized that the family business was not just an economic entity but also a bond of emotions and responsibilities among family members. They felt a deeper gratitude towards their aunt and were more determined to work hard for the family's honor. After years of study and internal family struggles, Jeff and Ray finally matured into responsible adults. They began to take on important roles in the family business, gradually taking over the company's operations and management. The brothers each excelled in different departments, with Jeff focusing on marketing and management and Ray specializing in technical development and product innovation. Their personal lives also began to stabilize. Jeff met a like-minded girlfriend, and they shared a passion for business and entrepreneurship. Ray met a partner in the tech community who shared his enthusiasm for textile technology. These relationships not only enriched their lives but also, to some extent, influenced their contributions to the family business. During this period, the twins deeply understood that the success of the family business depended not only on tradition and experience but also on new thinking and innovation. They began to explore ways to incorporate modern technology and management concepts into the traditional textile industry, striving to enhance the product's international competitiveness. Their efforts gradually bore fruit, and the company's performance began to rise steadily. Throughout this process, Aunt Guan Yunxia gradually stepped back, allowing the twins to take more responsibility for the company's daily operations. Her trust and support gave the brothers the confidence to lead the family business. Meanwhile, the twins expressed deep gratitude for their aunt's selfless dedication and guidance, determined not to let her down. Just as the family business was on track, unexpected news disrupted the peace. During a routine medical checkup, Ray discovered that his B-type blood did not match the O-type blood of the other members of the Guan family. This discovery shocked him and raised questions about his origins. Further investigation and testing revealed that Ray was not the biological child of the Guan family but had been adopted many years ago. His biological parents found him through a DNA database and wished to reunite with him. This news was both a surprise and a challenge for Ray. He had never doubted his identity, and suddenly learning this truth threw him into deep confusion. The appearance of his biological parents brought new emotional challenges. They hoped Ray would return to them to make up for the lost years. 
Although Ray did not have much emotional connection to his biological parents, he could not ignore the call of blood ties. He faced a difficult choice, to stay with the family that raised him or return to his biological family. After careful consideration, Ray ultimately decided not to return to his biological family. He believed that a true family is not just about blood but also the years of shared experiences and emotional bonds. He could not abandon the relationships he had built with Jeff and Aunt Guan Yinxia, and he could not forget the Guan family's years of nurturing. Ray's decision sparked some discussion within the family, but he firmly expressed that he was already a part of the Guan family and that his future was closely tied to this family and its business. This decision brought comfort and support to Jeff, strengthening the bond and trust between the brothers. Although his biological parents were disappointed, they respected Ray's decision. They understood his feelings and were willing to maintain contact without pressuring him to return to his biological family. This event deepened Ray's sense of responsibility toward the family and business, and he resolved to repay the Guan family's nurturing through his actions. After Ray's decision not to return to his biological family, the twins became even more dedicated to the family business. They were determined to use their efforts and innovation to elevate the family textile business to new heights. Jeff focused on marketing and international strategies, actively expanding into overseas markets, while Ray continued to push for technological innovation, improving product quality and production efficiency. Their efforts yielded significant results, and the family's business gradually expanded its influence in the international market. They not only inherited the legacy left by their aunt and parents but also expanded and enhanced it. Aunt Guan Yunxia was immensely gratified and proud of their accomplishments. She knew that the brothers had developed the ability to lead independently and that the family's future was secure in their hands. The brothers' success in business was not only a repayment to the family but also a response to their aunt's years of selfless dedication. They decided to allocate a portion of the company's profits to charitable causes, in honor of their aunt's nurturing. These actions earned praise from the broader community and enhanced the company's social image. Under the leadership of the twin brothers, the family textile business successfully expanded into European and American markets. They introduced modern management practices and innovative technologies, continuously improving product competitiveness and brand image. By participating in international trade shows and establishing cross-border partnerships, they successfully penetrated the high-end markets in Europe and America, earning the trust and recognition of international clients. Jeff and Ray understood that a global market required continuous learning and adaptation. They actively absorbed external management experiences and technologies, implementing modern management systems within the company. These reforms not only increased operational efficiency but also made their products more competitive in the international market. At the same time, they placed great importance on corporate social responsibility, actively participating in environmental protection and community building activities. They promoted green production, committed to reducing environmental pollution, and gave back to society through various charitable activities. These initiatives not only enhanced the brand's image but also strengthened employee cohesion and pride. The family's success in European and American markets was not just an economic achievement but also a reflection of the family's values. Their efforts ensured the continuation of the family's honor and traditions and laid a solid foundation for future growth. As time passed, the family's textile business had developed into a multinational corporation, establishing a strong presence in the international market. The twin brothers not only inherited the family business but also elevated it to new heights. Throughout this journey, they never forgot the teachings and support of their aunt, Guan Yinxia, and were deeply grateful for her years of selfless dedication. At the end of the story, the brothers organized a family reunion, including Jeff's biological mother Shen Yufei and Ray's biological parents, bringing together all family members. This reunion was not only a reconciliation among family members but also a reflection on the past and a look forward to the future. They decided to work more closely together in the future, to face any challenges that might come their way, and to continue striving for the family's honor and traditions.
This story, through the interactions among multiple generations of family members, depicts the conflict and integration between tradition and modernity and the balance between family responsibility and personal choice. The conclusion is not only a victory for the family but also a celebration of family values and personal growth. Through this story, we see how a family can grow and thrive in the face of difficulties and challenges, while maintaining its values and cultural traditions in a globalized context. This concludes our video for today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.